everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina of Gina Renee Art and Budgets. I am a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. I do videos all about how to make money, save money, spend money, all of the above. So if that's the kind of content that you're interested in, then by all means, take a moment to press that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So today, I'm, I get paid bi-weekly. So I stuff for two weeks at a time. Initially, I was splitting it up and stuffing only a week at a time just to kind of, you know, give myself some limitations. But as I've become accustomed to the system and cash stuffing, I kind of now stuff for the two weeks and I do fine. So I'm going to be stuffing two weeks into my spending wallet and also into my sinking funds. I stuffed my husband's sinking fund binder off camera, but I already did it. So this is what we're going to start with. We'll start with the wallet and then we'll move into my sinking funds. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, we're going to get started with my spending envelope. I'm stuffing for two weeks, like I said previously, and let's see what we're working with. 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 730 dollars for my spending envelope. Let's just get the cash set up so we can get started. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm on the struggle bus, but I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> uh, we have my grandson and our youngest daughter with us, so it's been a lot going on in this household, plus a bunch of other drama. But nonetheless, we got to stuff this wallet so that I can go to the grocery store and get things done. So we're going to start off with pulling out $50 cash that I give to my husband, 20 40 50 And I don't have an envelope for him. I just give it to him every time I get paid. And essentials, I went up on essentials because we just had extra people in the house and using more food so i actually went up to 400 for essentials but that's for two weeks um so we got 100 253 20 40 60 84 so that should help i was going over so i figure instead of just keep going over i would just increase it for now next we have gas 150 and that is because I put an extra 50 in because we have to take the kids home to Champaign, Illinois, which is a couple hours away. So I just put a little extra gas in. For spending, it's the same 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. For my spending, really it's everybody's spending actually. <laughs> and then finally, my miscellaneous envelope, $10 per week for something, if something comes up. And then I forgot, I'm trying to come up with a different envelope for giving because those are small and kind of cumbersome. But I put like five singles for each week for giving. So I just kind of put it in the front till I can decide what I want to do with that. All righty, on to my sinking funds. I have a total of, I want to say $83. I didn't even count it. I forgot, honestly. So I'm just setting it up in the tray getting it ready to be stuffed into my envelopes and i guys i'm a true testament that little bits add up because i don't put very much at all into my sinking funds and i just recently really started putting something in there whatever i could so let's see how this goes okay so for our sinking funds we just have a few i don't like to have too many binders too many sinking funds it gets to be a little bit overwhelming for me very fast so let's get started um this is that new envelope that i put back in here that i found and i said i was going to start it for 
me and Kevin's anniversary. So we're gonna start that off with $20. Our anniversary is December 1st, so we don't have a whole lot of time and I wanna do something nice. So we'll start that. I don't have a tracker or anything for this one. Maybe I'll make one. Um, car maintenance. Here's our tracker. These, all these trackers are available on my Etsy shop. You get three different trackers on one sheet. You just pay for one, but you get three different, not three of the same, but three different. Most of them like are, are related. So we're gonna add 10 again to car maintenance. And now that brings us to 10, 20, 30, 40 in car maintenance. Pet care, I have two trackers in my pet care envelope. The first one is for the groomer and we're gonna add another five to that one. Giving us 10, 15, 20 for the groomer. And this one is also on my Etsy shop and you'll get all three of the pet ones. The only one I don't have in here is for pet food and supplies. So all three of these will be on one sheet. And here's your vet expenses and we're gonna add five to, to that as well. So that gives us 10, 15, 20 for vet expenses. Hope you guys are doing fine. If you guys have saw my stories earlier, I just been kind of going through, um, I don't even know how to explain it you guys, but I'm seriously considering doing some kind of like on camera I don't know what to call it, but just like sharing my thoughts and what I'm going through and things of that nature. Cause I feel like I need an outlet. Um, not necessarily for opinions or suggestions, but maybe just to get it out of me. And maybe that'll kind of help me with my grieving process. This is my PO box. This is part of the side hustle tracking bundle. I'm going to add five to that, making it 10, 15, 20. But yeah, so just an, just an outlet to kind of share my feelings and what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing. Because honestly, uh, yes, of course, I'm grieving my mom. But, you know, even though Kevin is doing better, he's not completely out of the woods. So I'm still dealing with that. You know, I have adult children that, between me and Kevin, we have seven children, but we don't have any together. So we're like a, a blended family. And for anybody that has a blended family, it could get very, very difficult, right? So this is my annual payments. And both of these are on one. So. We'll start with Amazon, and I'm gonna add five to that one, making this one 10, 15, 20. But it's a blended family, and it's just difficult. It's very difficult because you want to be um, fair across the board, you know, but at the end of the day, as soon as something goes wrong, it's always blamed on the fact that, you know, that's not your biological child, so you don't care or you feel different or something like that, no matter how hard you try. So that's kind of another thing I've been dealing with. So this is my Sam's Club. I added $3 to this one. Sam's is not due till March, so I made myself a little note, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 in Sam's Club. So, yeah, that's some of the stuff that I've been de dealing with. And it gets so frustrating because it's always when they do something wrong, all of a sudden it's an issue and you're not being fair and stuff like that. So this is my special days, even though I have a birthday tracker in here. 
and I'm gonna add five dollars to this as well and this also will have 20 10 15 20 so you know so that's what I've been dealing with and it seems as though because I'm a mother and a stepmother a lot of the issues that come up now that I've lost my mother it tends to trigger me um, in terms of missing my mom because I know she would have a lot of advice and be able to kind of help me through this and I don't have that so this is date night I'm gonna add five to this one as well and brings us to 10 15 20 and I don't have that and I'm really like grieving that loss because there's a lot of things that I go through that I feel like my mother understood because she was a wife and because she was a mother you know and I just don't have that and I literally miss it so much so yeah so it kind of puts me kind of in a in a damper it's hard to like get on camera and you know film and record when you know you probably sound like all down and, <laughs> and depressed um this is for my nursing license my credentials i'm adding five to that which also brings us to twenty dollars so every little bit helps you guys i just try to maybe add five ten if i have it and it really starts to add up if you just kind of leave it alone that's the key leaving it alone those broke days when you're like man you know i need this and then you know you got money sitting in a, sitting in your sinking funds but if you constantly go to you have to like change your mindset and get yourself to a point that when you're out you're out and it's okay just kind of chill until you're able to you know restuff your wallet again or whatever the case may be you can't always just go to a different binder just because you spent all of your money and now you just you know want to go have some <laughs> mcdonald's or something you have to just be okay with being okay you know if it's an emergency of course yeah go in them but your average daily spending you can just do without that's the biggest adjustment right there so this is my just in case tracker here and i'm adding ten dollars each one is worth five so i'm gonna color in two so yeah so i'm probably gonna really think about um maybe once a week just sitting in front of the camera and discussing different topics maybe i'll get to the point where we'll take suggestions for topics stuff like that but i'm definitely thinking about it because i need it and i'm sure if i could use it several other people could too probably so we're at 20 30 40 in my just in case envelope so this is where i'm going to end it you guys again if you haven't subscribed already please do so especially with the new stuff that i have in the works and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss it and as always i wish you peace love and prosperity Bye for now.